hello friends today i am starting this computer application of class 9 ics support course so today i am starting the basic fundamentals of programming so what does the programming means uh, how how the programming word programming is done what are the procedures this kind of things today i will discuss in this lecture and the upcoming lectures i will give you programming examples codes and thorough description of the chapters so what we what you need to do is you just need to subscribe my channel like like the videos comment if you have any doubt and share it with your friends if you think that i can i can make it more better you can write me on my email id given here and if you want to ask doubt <coughs> you can message me or whatsapp me in this number so without wasting any time let's start so first of all <coughs> what is computer programming so basically programming is a process or rather than computer programming is a process by which we instruct the computer to perform certain tasks like adding two numbers calculate interest so before computer programming we need to think first what is programming because this is the two word one is computer another is programming so to what is programming for this look this one what is this this is a atm machine and what it does to <coughs> get out the cash as per as per your need so at the atm machine if you see you first have to insert your card then you have to give your pin then you have to give you the amount then you can withdraw the money so what what is the processes first pin first card sorry first card 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 then second of all what pin third of all what amount amount fourth of all what collect collect the cash collect so you see this is a sequence th there is a sequence in this order first you need to enter the card then you have then the machine will ask for the pin you enter the pin then machine asks for the amount uh, if the amount is validated to your account suppose if you have entered suppose 10000 rupees but there is not enough balance to have to give you the 10000 rupees in your account so machine will deny that amount and if if it is a valid request or if the request you have made it's valid that <coughs> machine found then you can collect the cash so if you see there is a process sequence now there is a sequence first you enter the card then enter the pin then enter the amount then collect the cash so this is i have a sequence so this sequences can be taught to a computer by programming so what is the programming means if there are some tasks which follows some particular sequences then we can program it to a computer to instruct the the task on behalf of us so what computer does is computer basically does to simplify our life simplify the processes by by taking care of the processes which are repetitive in nature suppose if you went to the bank for the same thing and you 
write down the slip give it to the cashier cashier take the thing and it, it takes a lot of time and many people don't have that much of time because time is money so what people do people simply go to the atm take the card and machine will take care of all the things if you see clear carefully is this happening that first you enter the amount then enter the card first enter the amount then enter the card and then enter the pin no no first you have to enter the card the machine will ask for that then you enter the pin then you enter the amount then you collect the cash there is you cannot <coughs> do you cannot break this sequence so the to so to instruct a computer you have to follow a sequence to instruct a computer to program a computer you have to follow a sequence otherwise the logic the if you break the logic there is no mean to it if you first collect the cash then entering the card what is the meaning of it nothing nothing no validation no thing nothing so this is the thing if you won't get it don't uh, don't uh, be let be patient in next ppt i have another explanation for you so next one let's go to next one everyone is familiar with making a cup of a tea okay so what happens in a tea you first pour the water into a jar then boil that water then give the coffee powder or tea patti then boiled it then pour it to a, a mug then give some cocoa powder or something like that if you want or masala something like that then you give some milk then you stir it and drink it is it happen that first you give the milk then you give the chai patti no na there is a particular sequence so this is called a sequence P perform a task in a particular order to perform this task particular order repetitively if a process is suppose repetitively we are doing a process repetitively then we can teach the process to a computer computer will can process the task for us for our behalf and give it give it to the result to you suppose uh, nowadays you know the uh, uh, coffee vending machines are there were tea vending machines are there were where you just need to give the milk powder and other stuffs and it will make the coffee or things for you so this kind of this is the process automation this is what the computer programming actually means that process perform a task in a sequence manner perform it as to get the desired output if you give an input to a program it will give output to you that's the main motto of computer programming so to the definition programming is a process by which you instruct a computer instruct instruction how, how you can give the instruction to a computer by a sequence of manner by by a, through a logic you have to be logical when you are giving any instruction to a computer otherwise it is no mean to it to perform certain tasks like adding to number calculating just like this so now here is another question if we give the computer some uh, instruction <coughs> then what language computer understand in what language i should communicate with the computer is it hindi is it english is it bengali is it marathi is it french it is is it Sp spanish no computer won't understand this kind of languages computer just understand just two things one is zero <coughs> another is one these things are computer understand <coughs> there are more things but basically for simplicity you just think the computer understand these two things zeros and ones zeros mean there is no current one means there is flowing of current means what no voltage voltage means if you off the switch it is zero if you on the switch it is one 
it is the basically what computer understand at the very basic level computer didn't understand anything computer didn't understand any english anything so to perform a certain particular task to process a particular task in a computer you need to give an instruction in this manner that computer understand so how would you give the instruction to that way let's think that way Let, let's have a look there are types of computer language there are basically three types of computer <coughs> language one is low level programming language another is mid level programming language another is um, high level programming language so low level programming language is assembly level language assembly level language this will is beyond of our scope this is basically for microprocessor to instruct the computer mid level programming language is a c and c and high level programming language java or python from high level programming languages what what you can in high level programming languages you can give instruction to a computer in in your words like print it it is understood by you but it is not understood by computer print etc this kind of syntax you used to instruct the computer but in low level but it is converted then to zeros after the compilation after the processing computer converts in to 0 1 0 1 etc and processes and give you the output to your desired result how computer does that i will make the separate video for this so basically there are types of computer language three low level programming language mid level programming language high level programming language so programming paradigms there are basically when we program a computer there are two kind of paradigms or process there are two kinds of concepts we follows basically one is structure oriented programming or procedure oriented programming another is object oriented programming there are many other ways but for your basic this is the two way that we can we follow so structure oriented programming languages example is c and object oriented programming languages java java that we have in our course so this is the end of this class hope there is very little introduction but it will help you if you feel that there is something that i can improve please let me know in the comments do like share and subscribe this channel and share this video as much as you, as you can this is my email id if you have any doubt you can ask me and this is my mobile number if you have anything to ask you can whatsapp me or message me directly thank you